ever really wanted something to happen in your life and you know it doesn't happen or maybe it hasn't even happened yet but you just really crave it you really want it so badly and at the same time you really don't want the bad thing to happen you're really afraid of the bad thing happening or it not happening at all and so you have fear you have negative emotions you resist it maybe you don't even want to think about it maybe you don't even want to think about it and you've blocked it off in your mind you blocked off the bad thing hap from happening but then it happens and you're faced with all these emotions it seems a lot worse than it really is now that's how most people go through their lives right through the label of good and bad seeing certain things as really desirable and seeing other things as scary and undesirable and that we need to push it away and today i'm going to take you into this idea of non-duality and the purpose of meditation which is to arrive at a um, state of awareness to see things for what they really are not what you want them to be in other words a non-dual state we aren't seeing things as this good and bad craving the good resisting the bad by clinging to one side and pushing away the other emotionally we are in a state of non-acceptance and resisting what is but the more we resist the more the negative emotion remains this is true at all levels of life from work to relationships hobbies goals and even social interactions resistance often felt necessary we feel like we have to push or effort and we feel like the pushing or efforting is even helpful however the resistance actually takes us away from the present moment which impairs our results consequently the attachment to seeing things through these labels causes us to suffer the middle way is to see things as they truly are without concepts labels and ideas here we dissolve the duality and the suffering created from craving the good and pushing away the bad in our mind ceases many consider this the purpose of meditation to see reality for what it really is rather than what you want it to be which is some mind created object of perception something that isn't real and when you can do this you'll find life starts to flow it becomes more natural and effortless you're accepting reality for what it is and allowing yourself to take part in that reality without resisting anything but allowing it to flow in your life and so you'll find things begin to feel more natural, more effortless. And then even in your darkest moments, the emotions, the dark emotions you feel, will only feel as solid as a cloud passing by in the sky. One moment it is there, the next it is vanished. <laughs> In society today, we are so conditioned in seeing things through the dualities of good and bad. Could you drop your attachment to the labels, concepts, judgments and positions you hold? Try it. See where it leads you. To end this video, I'm going to read out a story. This is a famous Zen story, you might have heard it before. There's a Zen story of an old farmer who had worked his crops for many years. One day, his horse ran away. Upon hearing the news, his neighbours came to visit. Such bad luck, they said sympathetically. Maybe, the farmer replied. The next morning the horse returned, bringing with it three other wild horses. How wonderful, the neighbours exclaimed. Maybe, replied the old man. The following day, 
his son tried to ride one of the untamed horses, was thrown and broke a leg. The neighbors again came to offer their sympathy on his misfortune. Maybe, answered the farmer. The day after, military officials came to the village to draft the young man into the army. Seeing the, seeing the son's leg was broken, they passed him by. The neighbors congratulated the farmer on how well things had turned out. Maybe, said the farmer.